On the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960, there is a mending stitch. Stitch number 103 is a built-in stitch. Now, when you actually select 103, we find that it recommends foot F. So we've been doing eyelets, bar tacks, buttonholes, and now a mending stitch, all with foot F. So in your accessory box, when you pull it out for the first time, you'll probably notice it's got this extra little plate, which if necessary to help hold fabric that's being a little difficult, you can leave it on and the fabric will go between the plate and the foot. For today, slide it out and set it aside. Next, the length of the opening, the, the part that it's going to stitch, how long it is, is going to be determined by the opening back here. So if you just have a small area to mend, you can have it be open. I'm pulling down on this lever here. You can slide it down and have a bigger one. This is where a button goes for when you're making a buttonhole to match that size. So if we want a buttonhole to be this long, you put the button in and then it can track how big it is and do it for you. So just kind of visual get the size you want or even leave a button in there to uh, to let you know what it's going to stitch. Go ahead and take the foot off. The button area of the foot is all the way behind you and go ahead and line it up with the bar. Um, I've noticed when I put this foot down it doesn't completely catch onto the foot so touch the little button that you use to take off the last foot and then it will click in place and take a hold of it. Next, the last thing that is important to do is, is behind the needle threader, there's a lever. This lever is gonna get pulled down. This is what tracks how big the button area, it's not the button area, it's the mending stitch area, is going to be because it can sense how far that is. Now this thread usually is um, guided in your manual to go down through the foot and underneath. A little hard to do, so I'm going to just hold on to it for those first couple of stitches. Take a few stitches and then stop. If for any reason it doesn't want to start, this is not green. Uh, just pull that lever down, make sure it's all the way down to its fullest position. Lower the presser foot again and then see that it turns green. So if it's still red, it won't stitch. But once you're green, step on your foot control. It's going to go down and back from the left needle position all the way to the right needle position all the way from one side to the other. So you do need to have some type of stabilizer underneath the area that you are mending. So some type of under, uh, something for the fabric to grip onto. So after the lines, then it goes back and forth all the way back to where it started. And don't tell anybody it's actually that easy. So you don't have to tell your your, anybody that your machine mends, but if you have to do it, it is actually that easy. Use the buttonhole foot, use stitch number 103 in the machine, and if that opening was bigger than this width, which is the width of your presser foot, you're, all you're gonna do is just move it over, start kind of a little overlap, and do it again. So I'll do back and forth stitches again beside it, and then the zigzag to complete it. Look how pretty that is.